see, what does it come with? All right, it is locked. Okay, let's spread these legs. Again, you cannot see this point, the tripod leg. So let's see how high it goes. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Yes or No Item Review. Today's item is the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripod. Let's go ahead and unbox this right now. See, what does it come with? Okay, so let's see. Oh, look at that. Other products from Manfrotto. Okay, cool, and the back is blank. So, you're left with the Manfrotto Mixi Tripod. So yeah, here it is. That's what it looks like. Wow, pretty cool. It feels comfortable, I like it. To give you an idea how big this tripod is, I measured it about seven inches in length and about two inches wide. So here are some of the features of this tripod. This tripod can hold compact system cameras, smartphones with clamp, and I wanna see how well it does with DSLR cameras with standard kit lenses. This thing weighs only 8.2 ounces. That's about 0.5 pounds. It has a very comfortable hand grip. The push button locking mechanism is a selling feature for this thing. Out of 7,474 people, this tripod rated 4.5 out of five stars on Amazon. And actually this thing's been out for a very long time. It's been out since June of 2013. So this thing has to be good. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, let's see how well this thing holds a compact camera. This is the Sony CyberShot. All right, there it is. It has a 360 ball joint right there. So I'm gonna see how well, how far it can go down. So I'm gonna press it right here. Look at that, that's cool. Wow. It doesn't go all the way down. That's how it is here from the side shot. That's what it looks like. I'm trying to see if the camera lens can see the tripod leg. Let me see, what does it look like? So it does not. Cool. So it holds this guy. This doesn't even weigh much. It feels like an iPhone. But let's try the other ones. Next, let's try an iPhone XS with a clamp for a tripod. All right, well, there it is. I'm gonna spread it all the way out. So the bad thing about this tripod though, it can't go all the way down like some other tripods do. If you stretch the legs all the way out, the lowest the tripod can go is approximately three inches. But hey, it's cool. It's very sturdy. So that's the lowest it goes right there. Again, you cannot see this point, the tripod leg. So let's see how high it goes. Oh dang, look at that. So it can go like that, pretty cool. That's the farthest it tilts, right there. All right, let's put it back. So it carries that, sweet. Now I'm gonna take off this iPhone and let's try the big DSLR cameras. All right guys, so this is the ultimate test here. This is a Canon EOS Rebel T21 and it has an extra battery compartment, so it adds weight. Let's see if the Manfrotto can hold this bad boy. All right, all right, it is locked. Okay, let's spread these legs. All right, wow, look at that, okay. So it's holding. All right, let's go ahead and tilt this. I'll hold on to the handle here just in case it falls. All right, here we go. I'm pushing this. All right, it is all the way locked. Let's see if it holds. Put my hand right there. Hey, look at that. That's cool. Yeah, see, it's sturdy. That's awesome. You just don't want it to knock it over. I mean, look at this. You barely tilt it and of course, obviously, you just don't want anything near this camera while it's tilted. Let's see if it tilts back. All the way back, that's all the way back. I'm letting this go. Okay, look at that. This thing's pretty cool, pretty strong. Okay, hope that answers a lot of people's questions. All right guys, I forgot this thing comes with a lens, so we're gonna add the same Canon with a lens. It's 18 to 55 milliliter camera lens. Okay, here it is. This thing just got heavier. Okay, here we go. All spread out. There it is. It's mounted. That's straight. And now let's go ahead and tilt it. All right, I'll first tilt it backwards this time. 
There it is. Look at that. Okay, you just don't want anyone to bump into it, obviously. So now let's tilt it forward. Okay, that's all the way. Letting go. Okay, see? Yep. So as you can see, it does not support it going all the way down. Let's do a next test. All right, guys, so the last thing we will test is the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV with battery compartment. Okay, let's test it out. Okay, so this is without the lens, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, pretty sturdy there. Go back down. All right, this is tilted all the way back. Yep, there it is. Okay. And now this tilted all the way forward. This is without lens. Yep, already. As you can see, it's already tilting. See that? Okay, so you know this can't hold that like that. All right, so I have the lens here. 16 to 35 millimeter lens of the Canon Mark IV. Let's put this on. Okay, there we go, there's the click. Wow, this thing is heavy. Let's tilt this all the way back. Whoa, so it holds it back in that. So you can tilt it up, which means it also stays in place like that. Well, I'm pretty sure you can't go forward down, which is gonna tilt, so I'm not even gonna try that. So yeah, this thing does pretty hold a great amount. This thing is huge. Look how big this camera is, and it this tripod holds this, guys. Holds a 16 to 35 millimeter, and it holds the camera with a battery pack. Two battery packs in here. Crazy. That's awesome. So guys, is this worth it? In my opinion, yes, it is worth it. This is only around 20 bucks right now. As you can see, it's pretty darn strong. It's comfortable. I mean, it has this button mechanism, you know, that keeps it locked, you know, 360. It's to me, this is cool. I'm gonna use this a lot. This is very sturdy. It's very good quality. I mean, this is not cheap. It's a very good, good stand. I like it. No wonder it's four and a half stars in Amazon right now. So is this item right for you? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing because it lets me know that this type of content helps you out. Until then, I'll see you at the next item.